Hey everybody, this is Burke. I wanted to show you an application that I built using Electron, which is the open source project from GitHub for building uh, desktop applications using web technologies. So basically a website that runs as if it were an app, which is the unicorn we seem to have been chasing for years now um, and can't quite seem to catch. What's interesting about Electron though is that Visual Studio Code runs on Electron. Um, and so do a lot of other applications. I uh, can't think of them right now. I wanna say Slack is one as well, but I, I don't have proof of that. Um, but really the first one we've seen to sort of take off, uh, Adam, of course, the editor from GitHub running on Electron. Uh, this is something that I've been interested in for a long time. So I'm gonna stop talking and just fire it up here. In order to get, get Electron, you need to NPM install, uh, I do it globally, and then you do Electron pre-built. And then once you do that, you can uh, open up an Electron application from the command line, as long as you're in the right directory here. I said command line, I meant terminal. There we go. So this is the application, it's up. Um, in my case, it's an iTunes API search. You can do an artist search. I didn't really know what to do for an empty screen, so I put this enormous icon here. But if you click this or this button up here, you get a Kindle UI collapsible panel here. Um, what's interesting about this is it's responsive, so if I, if I make this wide enough, that sidebar will become uh, sticky. You can see now it doesn't move anymore. Uh, and if I bring this back in, the sidebar will collapse. Uh, so a little bit of responsiveness -y there. Uh, we can search the iTunes API. Um, I'm gonna just search for, let's, we'll just say George. And this is a Kindle UI autocomplete. So you can see it working there. George Michael. Um, we can listen to some nice George Michael here. You'll notice we get back these um, cards or, or squares. These are based on the flippable plugin that I created here. And if we were to click on one of these, it will flip over in 3D space, showing us the back. Uh, and the back loads the tracks. And because we have things like web audio, we can actually play the audio samples, which is pretty cool. Um, you may have also noticed that we got this notification up here in the top. Uh, let me do another one so we can see that again. And what's interesting about that is that is a native feature, but actually we do that just by calling it new notification because that's a web notification, but we didn't have to ask for permission to do that. Um, some interesting things here. This is a Kindle UI button. This is a Kindle UI mobile list view used in a web context with a Kindle UI mobile nav bar used in a web context. Um, so you can use these things kind of wherever. You may recognize this right here is being Bootstrap. I am using Bootstrap for the layout. Uh, lastly, on this history section here, you'll see that it's saving my history to local storage. Uh, the Kindle UI data source writes to local storage, so you basically just pointed at that. And then uh, as I move through these things, they'll bump to the top of the list unless I am picking the same one, in which case it doesn't. Um, a lot of fun building this. Um, putting all the code up at GitHub. It's all done in ES6 as well. Probably not the best ES6 you've ever seen. Um, I kind of cut my teeth on doing that and worked through all those pain points the other day, uh, mostly using modules. So uh, this is it, Electron for uh, apps on the desktop, cross-platform. I like it, I think it's great. Thanks.